Hey, listen, we got, we got a, whew, we got an event that's about to happen. We got a, we got an actual event that's about to happen. Today, we going to be rating NBA 2K25 on the tier list, bro. I know, I know a lot of people probably going to be like, bro, it's too early, chill. It's too early. Why you doing that? Listen, listen, I'm telling y'all right now. We got to. We got to. We six weeks in, man. You know what? I'm going to tell you what I did today. Okay, so boom. Boom. I'm in my email. Ooh. 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 I got I got the word back on a tournament that I'm going to be hosting soon. Um, it's going to be sometime in November. Um, we will be doing... I don't, I don't want I don't want to tell you what game we're going to be doing, but it's going to be a tournament that I'm hosting. You know what I'm saying? November time. I had to do an ad for a company. You know what I'm saying? As well. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm I'm on my I'm on my stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting these sponsors. I'm working. I'm I'm trying my best out here in these streets. Um obviously y'all can see I'm I'm rocking the merch. You know what I'm saying? We got like I'm working, bro. I'm working, bro. Um iPod King Carter dot store will be live soon. I'll make a huge announcement for that. I promise. I promise I'm making an announcement for that. I'm just I'm I'm trying, bro. I'm trying to work, man. I'm trying to work like Every every piece that I'm trying to put in play, it take time, bro. I don't, it's only me. Like I swear to God, I wish I had a team, bro. I wish I had a team. Besides me and Q and some of the sales squad members helping me out with a couple, like, yo, what you think about this? Like it's literally just me. Like it, 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 that's it. My my algorithm is all 2K right now. So like, I be stealing. I be still in tweets. I'm just going to put that out there. I may reword them just a smidge, but for the most part, I still the concept. I still like niggas is my muse. Bitch ass niggas. Y'all niggas is my muse in this, in this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm y'all fucking OG overlooking all you little niggas and you niggas is my muse. Deal with it. But look, look, right? <laughs> I ask people, where do you rank NBA 2K25 on the list? If E was the least, Shoot said that it was E tier with 18. Shoot is saying that this game is just as bad as NBA 2K18. I don't know if y'all would agree for with that, but uh Ham says C or D. Dignify 2K said is C tier. C tier, mid. It's mid. All right. Odd said D. Mr. McKenneth Kenneth said B. Oh my God. Uh, Mal knock him off or Maul. He said D for dog shit. I average eight, 10 points a game, by the way. He letting people know at the park he averaged eight or 10 points and it, it's a D for dog shit. God damn. Um, Melly says C tier. It's not as bad as people make it seem. Hopefully the patch does something good. I just want Lane Steels nerfed, shooting slightly buffed. And paint defense buffed. I know they're fixing that post fade glitch too. That's good. Hey chat. Nerf the lane steals, but buff that paint defense. What about what about the perimeter defense? What about the perimeter contest system? Like, like what about that? Like everything inside of defense is bad except for lane steals. Like, I don't know if anybody knows that, but every single thing in defense is bad, terrible, the absolute worst, except for lanes deals. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? <laughs> uh, 2K's fear of hackers is what really held this 2K back. All the mechanics to stop Zens, et cetera, is what making the game frustrating. Everything else is fine for the most part. The RNG animations on every shot release is just annoying. I'd give it a B. With everything that this person said in their tweet, they still give it a B. Okay. If you don't have a basketball brain IRL, you gonna struggle. Video games are made to be hard. Put it on rookie if you suck. 2K did they thing this year. I, I'm guessing he giving that motherfucker S tier. I don't know. Uh, realistically, B tier only because the rewards are better for grinding rep. If you take away that at best C tier, okay? Either A or B. A's of now, but 2K25 has like S tier like potential. Like 
Okay, all right. All right, what y'all think about that one? Uh, I'm not having a problem with pain defense. Okay, okay. Hey, appreciate that follow, by the way. Appreciate you, you know what I'm saying? Um, B tier has much better than 2K24 so far. 2K20 and 2K11 are the only games that deserve to be S tier. Okay. Um, B, um, but if they take out skill matchmaking, tone lane steals a little bit, and boost the shooting a little, it'll be easy S like 22 was. Okay, so this person thinks 2K22 was an S tier game. By the way, they said tone the lane steals and, sh and boost the shooting. So they don't want nobody to play no defense. They want everybody to just score a thousand points. Okay. B, the shooting is just disgusting. Still ranking in a B tier game, but saying that the shooting is disgusting. Can be a high once the kinks are worked out. Okay, didn't give it a rating. No 2K game will ever hit S again due to microtransactions and nostalgia. Okay, okay. Didn't rate it, by the way. Um, C for sure. Um, it feels the same as last year, honestly, but a little more polished. Maybe low S tier, um, because I don't think it's gonna end up to five. Oh, top to top five. Okay. Um, this is the most unfinished 2K game ever. I mean, this crap is riddled with as many bugs as an abandoned cabin in the middle of nowhere, Georgia. Jesus. We spend so much money on an unfinished game. This is criminal. Chat. Sidebar. Did anyone see that Undisputed the video game tweeted out that they were in basically a beta stage and that the game that you purchase is basically a beta until early 2025? You're a paid beta tester. What company reminds you of that? When you buy a game and you have to play it and get all of the kinks out of the game, doesn't that remind you of something? C at best, not the worst, still have some fun with the game. D easily, gameplay needs years of work, honestly. Um, C, the level 40 reward was misleading a bit. It's honestly pointless. First F that we saw, chat. First F. A B, D tier, all these modes, some shit. Honestly, B tier, it had potential, to be honest. It had potential? Damn, the game just came out. Is the potential over? <laughs> F, if that there. Okay. Still at S tier with 16 and 17. Sam gave this game a S tier rating with 16 and 17. All right. C or D. On the black line between C and D. <laughs> C, E, the worst. So he gave it basically an F rating, S tier. Penny Trade Away gave it an S tier. B, good game so far. D at the moment, we'll see what they do this Friday. I like that energy. We won't see what they do this Friday. Okay, he gave it a D, but he said that there's, there's, there's room for improvement. Okay, hold on. A for me. So this person right here. No, no 2K game will ever hit S again due to microtransactions and nostalgia. He said that two hours ago, but he also said this two hours ago. A for me. All right. D tier. It can go to a C if they patch certain things. Damn. He gave it a D and said this bitch going to be mid if they fix it. <laughs> like If they patch it, it's mid. God damn. A solid C. F with exclamation points. A D, a F. That's basically an F. S for sure. Z's daddy said it's an S for sure. For sure. S tier for sure. Okay. Um, C. NBA 2K18 equal 2K25. What? Yo, Frank, what's good? I actually like this 2K. I give it a B. Okay. Breezy, Z, as in sleep. Brandon Hayes, B at the moment. Basically an F. Jevy 2K, he got 2K in his name, gave it an S tier. A Z, as in sleep. Um, A C, a B, a B. Money, drop them off. F for unplayable. 
All right, Melali, C or D, another Z, a S. Um, C tier right now with with a good patch, high A, low S. Okay, D tier, C tier, C tier, B to a B plus, E worst ever. So they wanted to be a F, a D, a C, a D, a a four E's. That that got to turn into an F eventually. Uh, another D. Um, S tier easily like bro be for real shooting is mainly the only issue other than that contest system never worked anyway it's not a bad 2k just stop trying to play it the same way as you have been playing the rest of the 2ks he has a couple of responses hold on um all right let's let's look at let's look at the replies on this one Okay, maybe S is a stretch, but a solid A. Okay. Um, they want to cheese their way shooting. What about the internal defense? Don't work. Leaderboard is broken. Shooting, paint defense, contest system, SBMM making it hard to find games, random lag spikes and losing frames, post scores hitting tight with fadeaway cheese, ceiling lanes too OP, and many more that aren't gameplay related issues. Game isn't too bad and has potential though. Holy fuck, you can't be real. Weirdos want to relive the old 2K so bad. Go dig up those old 2Ks and play that trash shit. NBA 2K25, if it apply, let it fly. Or whatever the fuck saying it is. <laughs> they want to cheese their way to dubs like the old 2Ks. They want to tween tween the same spot with the defense being helpless for 20 seconds. They want to speed boost to the fade corner three with three defenders with the wing spam over six, seven contesting for the face shot splash green losers. <laughs> hey, yo, Chad, he going to fuck off. Penny trade away. He is not here for the bullshit. Okay. <laughs> That's what Twitter's thinking. All right. Now, I told y'all that I was going to allow y'all to vote on this tier list, all right? Okay, so you gave 2K25 a B. Okay. 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 So uh we got a we got another we got another one ranked. We got another one, chat. We gotta we gotta go over this. You got a lot of S tiers and a lot of A tiers, bro. Oh, that's you? Okay. So I mean, granted, 2K2 and 2K3, a lot of people, they sleep on those two. Like, them hoes, was, they was really like that. Like, that that was a time where everybody wanted to, like, really be AI, bro. Like, they they really got his headband down, the hair, the breeze, the tat. Like, they got everything down in that game, and it was fire. Like, um, but let me see. Okay, you got 2K6, got 2K9, 2K9. A lot of people sleep on 2K9 too, bro. One of the best like ranked online player match um going up against people and play now online was that was huge, bro. You got the original NBA 2K, you know what I'm saying with the motherfucker goddamn goddamn shit. All right, you got that in there. You got 2K12 as a S tier, 2K13 as a S tier, and 2K16 as a S tier. Okay. Um I can see that. You pro I think I know what it is. You don't like uh games that people can exploit. That's that I think that's what this is that what disqualifies um games from making your S tiers when 2K allows hackers and and people like that to come in and, and, and fuck with their game. Like on a console standpoint. Cause like I can see that you don't have 2K eleven in here. Um on S tier, which was when they were doing eight foot players and stuff like that at the uh, on the games and stuff like that, like was that was that one of the reasons why I was like left off? Yeah, see, yeah, yeah, that that's what it is. Because look, because like the way I'm looking at it, bro, like you have some potential S tier games in your A tier in 2K15, demigod glitches. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's what a lot of people um did. They did demigod glitches and stuff like that. Um, NBA 2K17, uh, Paul George bullshit, you know what I'm saying, with the loading screens and stuff like that. Um, also, people were trying to exploit certain uh, joints on 2K17 as well. But but that was more so like animations and stuff like that and, you know, canned animations and stuff. But all right. But um, you got B tier, you got 24, 21, and 23, all next gen in the, in the B tier. And then you got a, you got 
a lot of mid to yo. I'm surprised you didn't put 18 in the trash bin with the, with with uh 2K4 and 2K5. Um, but I can't. I also again again 2K19 was the year that um everybody was using them bullshit bases to hit corner threes and stuff like that even with a, a low three-point rating and you got 2k19 as a mid game so yeah anytime that it looks to me like rick and 40s like anytime 2k allowed any exploit in their game and people took advantage of it and it, and it lasted for a while you you put that you put that lower on the list you put that lower on the list uh, who is Frank and Frank picks two different people? It doesn't look like it because their their joints look exactly the same. So let me just go into Frank picks. Ooh, shit. Okay, okay. All right. I like I like this. I like this. I like this. This this is a okay. Okay. This is something different. This is something different. Okay. S tier games. NBA two K twenty. NBA two K twenty four. In NBA 2K25 as his S tiers. Wow. Okay. Okay. When did when did you when Frank? When did you start playing 2K? And when did you start pl playing 2K online? So the the one thing that I'm seeing is that you are loving the visual the visuals of NBA 2K and it's Ascension. So you, I'm Frank and, and you could correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you are, you are ranking 2K on its like it's continuous elevation of like graphics, lighting, art, what you see on the court, the, the, the realism. Like, I believe that's what you're ranking. Like you're ranking, like what, it, like what it started at when it first fucking came out to them choppy little, you know what I'm saying? Dribbles and animations and spin move took six steps and all this crazy shit to like where it is now where like pro players here, you know what I'm saying? The movements look realistic. The players look realistic on the court. Like, is that, is that how you're ranking it? Cause like that's that's kind of like what 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 I see a little bit, but you you also have um, some games that are in the bottom, and I'm probably gonna try to try to understand why they're there. But I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared actually. I'm kind of scared to give my rating because so many so many different things like I guess come like come into effect. I guess I, I don't I don't know I don't know like everything kind of like comes into effect with like how I guess you could say I I would rate it like I got to think about my YouTube career my Twitch career my Facebook career like me being on social media like the come up like the grind like it's it's so many things that would make certain games get ranked a little bit higher I could tell you right goddamn now. NBA 2K25 is not an S tier game. It is not an A tier game. I can for shit sure tell you it is not a B tier game. I can also let you know that NBA 2K25 ain't even mid. It ain't even mid. Is it too early to tell? No, it's not. September 25th, Evan put out a patch notes uh, tweet, right? Um, of course, you got to be a part of the Discord. They, that's what they all are saying now. But we talk about transparency, right? September 25th was the last time that anybody was retweeted or anything like that with patches or notes, right? And today we got an image. Season two info dropping tomorrow. It's Tuesday. The season, the season begins Friday. Why are we getting news about season two, two days before the season come out? Let me run down a list of all of the problems with NBA 2K25 as they stand before the patch comes before season two. There is lag spiking. The every event within the event center 
is delayed and has hiccups from old town to um what is that what is the one we just did the strikeout event um basketball gods like every single event inside of there is giving me 2k18 skipping frames lag delay okay that's what is getting you know what i'll do you one better chat i'll do you one better it was only good for Stop. a few seconds put your hands up you were, oh my god just go in square oh he ri how you rip you you might think that this is regular gameplay when you look at it but we're lagging like we're lagging no <laughs> we like <laughs> so unbearable lag right um we can talk about the contest system perimeter contest perimeter contests are null and void you get better contests when you are in drop down defense and you step in front of the player you get a better contest they which means they the that you stepping to them with drop down defense speeds them up right but if you put your hand up every shot is open you rarely get a tight on when you put your arm up you might get a light pressure but nine times out of the ten it's going to say open if you're going to try to put your hand up at a defender i mean at an offensive player while they're shooting perimeter defense non-existent um even though they took away you being able to spam square inside the paint people still find a way people still find a way to you know to to not not head fake but you know get people jumping and stuff like that um as well as when people drive to the lane and stuff like that no matter how much interior you got that person might lay up on you dunk on you i have real player percentage on my layup and i'll be making layups up against people with interior defense um lane steals yeah they're cracked they're op but that's all defenders really have without lane steals, they would be not like you would have 150 point games inside the pro-am 150 point games in a wreck 150 point games in a pro-am the fact that games are averaging around where they averaged that last year were 60 to 87 tells you like oh well the shooting is just as bad but the defense isn't so great so we're still able to score because if we didn't have the paint mashing and the backdoor cutting and the the lobs and all of that we still wouldn't be able to shoot because people were going three for 21 but they're still winning games while their guard is shooting three for 21 people are still winning games you see what i'm saying like they're putting up a shit ton of shots but still winning shooting um a lot of people don't like the fact that everything's rng it's a whole bunch of issues and stuff like that with that but if you rhythm shoot you're 10 times better but with the rhythm shooting you have to find a jump shot solely for rhythm shooting because most people can't rhythm shoot with their fast jump shots that they have because their jump shot is just too fast you can't rhythm shoot it because the rhythm shots has a delay because 2k needs to figure out if you're shooting or dribbling so the entire system of shooting in a sense is broke right then we could talk about mm, I, I feel like my career is kind of okay my career is okay um the online like around the park the sands and stuff like that all of those games pretty cool um i like the co-op system you know being able to go co-op into those modes and, and play those games um proving grounds the entire ranking system is broken um people can quit out of games and hold on to their rep from like their i'm sorry not their rep their rank if they quit out if they close app or quit out or pull the ethernet cord they keep their rank you can have as many losses as someone that's at silver and stay platinum you see what i'm saying uh the proven grounds is probably the smoothest place to play at but because of skill-based matchmaking if you're a red plate you may have to either wait for a game or play up against sweats because you're not sure where them red, red plates lay but people are spending a hundred dollars every time they don't feel like sweating they spend a hundred dollars because they go out and make a new build and get to play up against black plates and matchmaking and beat on them for a few games until they make themselves a red plate again so essentially the fix to skill based matchmaking is money at this point not a fix from 2k you have to spend your money to 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 go up against lesser competition and beat on others because that's what everybody really wants right 
um wear the d way cover uh uh nah i made sure not to do that one because i wanted people to like really understand like 2k21 current 2k21 next um let's talk about starting five um starting five was a place where everybody went to go get quick easy rep um but now people are are literally sweating in starting five you go in there you playing up against two 2k league players pro-am players uh proven ground players like like the good of the good and they're not quitting out they will they will post score cheese you all game long for 20 minutes straight is is whoever wins out of the best post cheese <laughs> like that's that's what they that's what they going you know what i'm saying that's what that's what they doing that's what they doing starting five is insane right now every sweat that wants to go to veteran i'm sorry not veteran legend and all of that they're in there and i'm sorry you're just gonna have to deal with that skill-based matchmaking if you're a gold plate or higher fuck your life <laughs> fuck your life um the wreck the wreck is a place where people go in and they like basically they don't have the team of people to create a pro-am team so that's why you see so many sweats in the wreck because they they come from a mindset of knowing basketball knowing what a two three is know how to throw back door cuts lobs shoot dribble whatever but they just don't have the structure so i feel like the rec center is a place if you're going in there you should know for a fact if you go in there with two people you go in there with three people you go in there with four people you go in there with five people you're possibly going up against a stacked team that just generally either they just met today and played three games together or they're fucking best friends you just have to deal with it. They fuck the structure of matchmaking with, you know, playing up against some of the best players in the world. They rather go and wreck and beat on you. So you got to deal with that in the wreck. Uh, let's talk about park. Um, park is, it's not a bad place. Um, I feel like it's just the park, the, 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 the lighting and everything is just still bad on both sides. Um, for the rise side, I feel like it's always like uh shadowy midday, you know, the, the cloudy day. It's not really too much sun around. Um over on the elite side, it's harsh dark shadows because of the, you know, all of the the stuff that's in the air, the ship and all of those type of things. This is the moment where I rank 2K25. As of right now, with the game not having any patches it has no patches at all well it has a couple hot fixes but it has no real underlying patch because it took them six weeks or even five or four and a half to figure out what was really wrong with 2k25 what needed to be tuned and stuff like that I got to put 2K25 where it belongs, bro. As of right now, it is a bad, broken game. Okay. When you get the label of a bad and broken game, you have to redeem yourself. You have to. And, and until they do that, which they can do that shit tomorrow, they can redeem themselves starting tomorrow with being transparent with the community letting everyone know what they're going to do to fix the game, how they're going to address it, when they are going to address it, and to make sure that it doesn't break anything else. If they can do that seamlessly, I will put 2K25 as an S-tier game. I swear to God, I will bring this bitch from the trash bin and I will put 2K25 as an S-fucking-tier game. If they can fix everything, if they can fix what's broken, this game would be amazing. That's all I'm saying. It's the, the, the worst part is, is that 2k 25 is plagued with so many broken notions to where the far left want one thing and the far right want another thing. And it's up to 2k to figure out where that middle ground is but they got to fix the fucking lag. They got to fix the lag spikes. They have to figure out what's going on with matchmaking. Like they, like I remember if, if you really are going to do skill-based matchmaking, 
And I understand, right? You put it into the game and it's bare bones, but they chose the wrong notion to figure out what skill-based matchmaking should be tied to. Skill-based matchmaking should be tied to your win percentage. That's what it should be tied to. It should not be tied to whatever plate you have because there are still going to be people that are very much smarter than the average Joe that are going to go out and not be so smart and spend however much money on a brand new build and grind that build up and then come out to that event in 48 hours and kill everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because it'll take them a, a billion games to get the red plate within those couple hours before it'll, you know what I'm saying? Before that red plate, it might take a loss or something like that. You see what I'm saying? So, 2K25 is a trash game until they drop the patch notes. The moment they drop the patch notes, I swear on everything I love, I will put this motherfucker in the S tier. I will put it there, bro. The, the My Career Story alone like it puts it at a B with the my career shit alone, the key games, the Jersey swaps, the FIBA shit, the, the heart of the uh, dynasty, all of that automatically gives it a B tier, but the B tier does not outweigh everything that's currently broken and needs to be tuned until they figure that out. This game is not good. The, the defense is bad. I don't give a fuck how many say, oh, somebody got 11 steals the other game. Okay. If that person got 11 steals, how many blocks did the get the big get? How many, how many, how many, uh, shit actual like that, jump shit shots like that, did that like team that, make? Like that, like that. Did the entire team go seven for 43 and still beat you? Did y'all go six and 58? The shot system is crazy. So just imagine with everybody saying buff shooting and they still have yet to figure out the perimeter contest. They buff shooting. Everybody going to be out there lasering. What happens when people go from six and four, seven for 43 to now 19 for 27? <laughs> Keep up defense. <laughs> oh my God, man. But again, as of right now, F tier trash. Don't want, I'm not calling the game trash. I'm saying that until they get their fixes, if not, if, if we are 12 weeks into the game and it's still playing the way it's playing when events are coming and, and all of these nuances and stuff like that, like when I guess sunset rivet, whoever the next park is and it's lagging and delaying and, 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 and frame dropping in there for an event, that I'm supposed to spend my weekend on for two times rep. Oh, mind you, the another thing about transparency, right? NBA 2K25, the reason I put it in the F tier is because there was an outage for most of everyone that was on a PlayStation network. It should be up to 2K. 2K, I know y'all have pretty okay servers from here that you know for the last couple years but you should know if sony goes down it's up to you guys to have our backs no one got compensated any double rep coins or like nothing like nobody got anything for the outages like no like i feel like across the board everybody for that specific moment when it went down, no matter where you were in the world, no matter what platform you were on, no matter where you were playing, you should have gotten some type of compensation because there was a moment when people couldn't play your game. Now, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say. I play a, I play a game of crack. This game, everybody knows what I play. I play Star Trek Fleet Command. If something is broken in that game and it's, it's often if something is broken scopely just like how we say 2k scopely compensates everyone they have it set up where every player is on a server and they figure out what problems come from these servers and they say hey we have a server-wide hotfix coming out and because something like this was broken we're going to compensate everyone and that means for every player 
within whatever ops level you are, whether you're ops 1 to 25, 25 to 39, 39 to 52, 53 to 60, 60 to 69, they have a different gift for you tier by your level. That's what Scopely gives us. So why can't 2K when they know shit be broke? Like that whole strikeout event, I wasn't able to finish it. I was lagging profusely. I I lagged the entire we lagged so bad we left. It wasn't about not winning the game. We I got I got kicked. All co no compensation. No no sorry. No uh, you know better luck next time. We got you with this little gift pack. Nuff we got nothing as a community. Nothing. No message, no tweet, no sorry, nothing. We got nothing for that. And we, we like chat, y'all got to understand, bro. When we sit up there, you said W ad, not, nah, not, nah, I'm just a hey, Rick and forties. I'm just being honest with you, gang. Like as a gamer, my nigga, like we pay for 2K and then we buy builds, right? that they are running a free game format a free mobile game format at that they're running what mobile games run you go in you buy packs you go in you buy this you go in you buy like that's what they're that's the model that they're running so if we say if i say yo rick and 40s bro yo take this four hours with me bro we gonna go play this 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 event for four hours bro i know you probably got something on, on your busy weekend bro but please come play this for four hours with me i just took you out of what you had to do that was important to you to come play a video game with me we taking out time out of our busy days bro as grown-ups to to play their game and to 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 make it seem like Yo, they got a lot of activity, a lot of player base, all of this on these hot days. And the entire event is broken. And they don't compensate us saying, yo, hey, we know this shit was fucked up. To everybody that was that everybody that participated in the event, anybody that had even one game played, we're gonna give you the max amount of rewards that you would have completed if you just completed the the I think it was like four games straight. We're gonna give it to everybody that participated one game only. We're gonna give it to everybody. If you participated that day, you get it. If you didn't participate, I'm sorry you miss out. Next time participate, and when we have a bug and an issue, we'll pay you out next time. But we didn't get none of that, G. We ain't get none of that. That's just that's just real, bro. That's just real, bro. Like we didn't get no compensation for giving 2K our undivided attention and time in a broken system, a broken mode for that weekend. We got nothing. We got no reward. And that's why I say, like, as of right now, until 2K fixes what they need to fix, the writing is on the wall. The, the trajectory is slowing for the game. This patch, this next two weeks is going to tell you what everybody's going to think about the game. Bro, they got people crashing out about this game snapping going crazy about this game people falling out of love with the game bro people that i hit up like celebrities that was hitting me up like yo pal we gonna be running ah, ah, ah. i hit them up yo g i ain't gonna lie bro i tried to play that shit last week i wasn't fucking with it people falling out of love with the game already and we only six weeks in you gotta turn it around bro you gotta turn it around, bro. They gotta turn it around. It's that simple. But this this is my current tier list. Um, real quick, the reason why I give these games Fs is because NBA 2K18 was the most broken game of all time. So it's first on that list of the uh, worst games. Um, 2K21 current gen, which was PS4, is because uh the shooting was terrible. All the two-way builds people made you know and put money into couldn't shoot at all the worst shooting game ever nba 2k25 is currently riddled with a lot of bugs a lot of issues that surround my career i don't even know what's going on over in my team i don't know what they going through but i know on my career side 
It's a lot of issues. And until they fix those issues, the trajectory. These, um, again, 2K24, I had no no intention of playing that game. Um, I gave up on it. Uh, I, I tried my best to, you know, keep it in my rotation of games played. But sometimes even like when we would, you know, have 2K Tuesdays, 2K24, I was playing something else. Um, C tier. Obviously, 2K17 is one of the ones that y'all know the most. It was a mid game, um, even though it came right after 2K16, which was is in my S tier list. Um, it had a lot of issues, a lot of problems, but it it stayed its course. You know what I'm saying? It had it, it, it had a balance of good and bad. Um, but I'll never play it again. Um, 2K12, 2K23, um, B tiers. Um, the reason why that they're in the B tiers is because the games that 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 they came after, excuse me, were amazing games. Um, 2K23 came after 2K22, which was a great game. Um, 2K12 came after 2K11, which is in my S tier list. So usually, if if something is in my my S tier, A tier, the game that came after it is gonna be pretty good you know what i'm saying that's, that's that's just how we go like uh also um how 17 to see did you play that game for real did you play that game i i want you to remember i want you to remember playing the game not not watching content and watching your favorite youtubers or streamers have fun i want you to remember your experience was your experience great i need you to re- i need you to remember bro i need you to remember bro i need you to remember bro i played it every day okay he was sipping that oj fresh squeeze <laughs> listen i'm telling y'all man 2k17 is not as great as everybody made it seem besides the dribbling which was really really good and the my career storyline everything else was mid everything else was made with that game trust me bro trust me like it wasn't um the every badge on bronze glitch hey yo rick rick listen we not going they a lot of people they forget bro they forget what was really going on, bro. They forget what was really going on, bro. Like, 2K17 was riddled with a Like, Paul George used to talk to you for 20 minutes, bro. I remember I remember my console overheated because I tried to keep it on because I didn't want to go talk to Paulie no more. Like, I remember, to, like, like, bro, times like this. <laughs> like, bro, I'm telling you, bro. You said, nah, highlight of my high school years. Bro, and bro, I completely... I get it. It's your point of view. You know what I'm saying? It's your point of view. But back when you was in high school, you weren't as analytical as you are right now. I guarantee you when you boot up 2K, you can notice everything that's wrong with the game from a frame drop to a lighting issue to a lag spike. You can you can point all of that out. I've been doing this shit for 15 years. So I've been pointing this shit out since the beginning. <laughs> so like that's that's why like you know what I'm saying? Like I've been I've been on that tight wave, you feel me? So it's like that's what I'm dealing with, bro. I've been I like I wish I didn't have these eyes. I wish I didn't have this brain for gaming and understanding the the intricate concepts of deving and what it takes and and shit like that. Like, bro, I understand all of it and it fucking sucks. Oh, I know. Noticed, oh, I notice it all and it blows me. Yeah, bro. And and that's 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 where we are with gaming, bro. Like, we notice everything, bro. Like, yo, it's so bad how technical we are in our fucking like we be having binoculars on every time we load a game up bro it's so bad bro like it's so bad i can't i can't understand why we're like this but um what i do want to say is i appreciate y'all for being here um it's always dope to do stuff um on twitch with y'all and then you know upload it later on youtube and stuff like that like i really like rocking with y'all having the comments go so like that because it's a, it's a real conversation. Like I don't like I I hate giving like hot takes and not having anybody like change my perception or 
You know what I mean? Try to give me a different outlook. Like I like when people are here to talk to me and be like, yo, no, nah, pot, you got to remember this or yo, remember this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like that. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong.